Hello everyone, my name is Jamal Jones, Senior Service Instructor, and my day, the class today is textiles. What we're doing today, we're doing textile pillows. Do some, some pillows, design, and we just, I'm just going to paint the top, and I'll show you how to make the pillows and stuff. But what I'll do, I'm going to start on one of these pictures here. So remember, you can paint with acrylic paint or textile paint. If you use acrylic paint, always use the textile medium with your paint to heat set your paint. Use two parts paint, one part textile medium. If you're using fabric paint, you don't need the medium. You just paint and you heat set it after you finish the process. Okay. It's a series of Afrocentric art paintings. And once you uh, paint it, Lock into your pillow, it'll be great. Let's start some faces first. Going over your design, you always come back to Use one hundred percent cotton cloth. I use Mossum cloth. It's a little better. Or you can use any kind of linen, make blend the cotton on and it's paint. I prefer cotton. Blend it into the fabric better. And in other fabrics, it's kind of you know, bland and it's hard, it's hard to paint it, you know, so. Just take your time. So there's no mistakes. Only great discoveries. These are good pillows you can give for gifts. Someone who wants to uh, decorate the, the, the house. You don't, if, you don't, if you don't want to paint, do your pillows. There's no way you can do pillows. If you got some extra pillows in your house that you're not using, just, just cut you some cloth, the same size the top, and sew it on your pillow. You can do it that way. You can be decorative, you can, you can match. <coughs> Anything in your house. So, so many ways you can do these posts. So, just uh, be creative. Use any kind of fabric. And then you can uh, use any kind of fabric and, uh, and just have fun with it. Do pillows with your with, with grandkids' faces on. Just uh, you take the place like King Coast and get them uh, transfer on the cloth. You like wear a piece of art on your on your on your uh, towels. Yes, enjoy. If you don't want to do pillows with different these kind of designs, you can do any kind, any design. Just one design I did. Or 
fishes up, up on like an aquarium. You do a series of things that like, like that. One more design with birds. So any design you want to do. Do a person's face on it, a family member or yourself. Most things you can deal with. Okay, let's let's, let's, let's paint their bright dress. You know, they wore they were a lot of bright colors. So let's uh let's start with her. Let's see what else. I mix the color for the light pink and texture. And I like this turquoise color. Like I said, don't worry about uh, going in between the lines. So once you detail it, lock it in. Lavender. You can paint over your design. You can always put something back. You can always put it back in. Once that dry, we'll put a flower in between that. Like I said, once you once you do it, paint it. You got to heat set it before you put the color together. You always want to heat set it. How you heat set it? It's iron on the wrong side for five, ten minutes. Or sometimes I, I put them all in the dryer. And he said it's 15 minutes of medium heat. That way, you can, you can, you can wash these colors and paint won't come out. Put a design in for the flowers so it, once it's dry, it'll show up. Then you come back with the flowers. That's what you design back in. Then we use a combination of colors. This way, I'm going to put the colors in. Don't worry about it. No mistakes. Have fun. That's, that's what all art is about having fun. Let me see what you let me see what you're doing once you start making your pillows. And we have a show and tell. One day. And so you can make all kinds of pillows. Yeah. 
Use the acrylic paint. Always use your meat. Put the on, wash the color, and then go off with the wash. That's important. Use your medium on. I just use regular fabric paint. They wore a lot of bright colors. They want to say, don't match. They, they wore a lot of bright colors. No matter what color you want to use, just have fun with it. What color do you like? I mean, so you have some yellow to that. This is a bird of paradise. The bird of paradise has a lot of bright colors. Bounce your colors around. Don't worry about it. Like I said, you, you ran into paint colors, just cut you some blocks of cloth, probably about 24 by 24 all around. And feel color that way also. Use some cloth you got in your house. You won't be in, you didn't know what to do with it. Just, just make, a, make some pillows out of it. Put someone's name on it. Give them as a gift. Show you how to. Even this is wet. I can still come back and add some flowers, designs, and crap. That's pretty sure you should. This technique is called wet for wet. Let's add some. Don't worry about it. Just most, most mistakes are discoveries. Okay, now I'm going to call her just for me. Uh, Thank you. 
See, you always come back and put designs in, in, your, in your outfit. That's very dry and come back and paint. Okay. 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 All righty. Is there any questions? Well, I thank you all for coming to my class on textile designs. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. <laughs>